welcome back to Good Morning Colorado. This is a live view outside right now from the Cog Railway up in Manitou Springs. Actually, wouldn't be too bad of a day to go hiking, enjoy this cooler weather while we have it. That way, you're yeah. not soaking in the sun. But anyways, yeah, what do we have going on today? Mud. You have to Mud. Watch about that. I guess <laughs> if you're going to hike around, that'll probably be True. a big, big issue. Uh, today, it, it's cool. I mean, that's the bottom line today, and I think it's going to be pretty hazy. Okay. Um, some of that smoke is going to get drawn up against the mountains, but mm. other than that, it's a, it's a different kind of day than you're going to typically see for the start of August. Um, I, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Just open the windows and enjoy the cool air. There's a view from American Furniture Warehouse. It's pretty cloudy outside right now, kind of damp around Colorado Springs. We don't have any significant rainfall at the moment in town. And most areas are reporting temperatures in the 50s and 60s. The one exception is Leadville, and even there it's 49 degrees. So there's not a lot of temperature variety. We've had a few light showers this morning. We'll probably continue to have them off and on near the higher terrain, particularly along and south of the Arkansas River, but we couldn't rule out a little bit of that around the Pikes Peak region. None of this is going to result in any significant heavy rainfall, just some very light showers, and they'll be probably pretty short-lived. The one thing that won't be short-lived is cloud cover. Looks like we're going to keep it pretty cloudy in eastern Colorado for much of the day today. We will have showers and thunderstorms redeveloped this afternoon. That activity should be generally bottled up to the Continental Divide, where we're going to have some more instability. So you see some of the yellows and oranges starting to pop up well to the west of the I-25 corridor, but really not that much refiring here near the interstate. Highs today in the 60s and 70s, just about everywhere across the state. Mountain areas will probably remain in the 50s. Again, these numbers in some cases run in 20 degrees below average. So it's a, a pretty cool day uh, for this time of year. Some of these showers and thunderstorms that develop over the Continental Divide are going to try to march off towards the east this evening. They may make it into some of the eastern mountains, but they'll generally be weakening as they do so. So I really don't expect us to have a repeat of the heavy rain that we had late yesterday or last night. But we couldn't rule out through midnight maybe a few showers around the mountains to the south and west of Pueblo, the Sangre de Cristos, maybe the wet mountains into parts of Fremont County or the San Luis Valley. And then that activity should come to an end through the night tonight. By tomorrow morning, there could still be some pockets of low cloud cover around, but uh, they'll generally be breaking up here in eastern Colorado, and I think we'll have some sun tomorrow morning. When you wake up, we'll have 50s to lower 60s for the plains, 40s and 50s over the mountains and mountain valleys. Right now, Highway 115 in Turkey Creek, kind of a similar view to what we're seeing across much of eastern Colorado this morning, just kind of gray and a little bit damp out there, and I think we have some happy plants after all that rain that happened yesterday. We're tracking some warmer air, and as the air warms up, the instability goes up, so more storms to contend with early this week, and some of those could produce some heavy rain in spots. Late in the week, things should dry out again, and that probably means we start to warm up, and we'll talk more about that in our extended forecast coming up soon. Kershaw, back to you.